Within this video, we're going to continue working through our Lesson 5 Student Guide of Pulleys for a Rue Goldberg Machine. And specifically, we're going to go ahead and work with this interface challenge, Do You Even Domino? So you can follow along here in the PDF, of course, and of course, follow along here inside of the video. To ensure that we're all starting in the same place, let's go ahead and close down this lesson and open up the next part of it. So we'll come up here into Window, come down here into Levels, and this Level 5 Pulley right here, I'm going to go ahead and just right-click on it and choose Streaming Method set to blueprint and then we're going to click this little eyeball right here just to hide everything and then go ahead and right click on this l5 pulley challenge and come down into streaming method and set this to always loaded we'll get a little pop up here i'm just going to say okay and now we can go ahead and just dock our levels up here in the corner now the goal of this is to actually bridge the gap that we see right here as well as get some dominoes to fall into this final bucket and to actually do this, we're going to have to add in that pulley. So let's go ahead and find that pulley, which is going to be located down here in the content drawer. So down here in the very bottom left-hand corner, we'll go ahead and just open this up. And from our content, we're going to go into our blueprints. Just double-click this folder. And inside of here, we're going to go ahead into our tools. So double-click this folder. And what we're looking for is this blueprint here, this BP pulley. So we can just click and drag this into the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and use my move tool to go ahead and just pull this straight up and use my rotation tool. And I'm going to turn my snaps off in this case. I'm going to just rotate this. And again, I want to make sure that this is in the correct location. So with it selected, I'll press the F key in the keyboard and hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and left mouse click and drag just to make sure that we've got a bit of a gap and everything's set up here. I'm going to use my move tool and I'll slide this over a little bit. And about there, I think, is going to work. Let's go ahead and rotate it just a tiny bit as well so we can get that domino to actually fall in over here on the left-hand side. All right, so if I press 5 on the keyboard, it should reset my camera. Cool. So the next thing that we need to do is actually get more dominoes over here on the right-hand side. And to do that, we're actually going to be using a really cool feature that lives inside of the Unreal Engine. So we'll go ahead and select the dominoes, just left mouse click on them, and then press the F key on the keyboard to frame them, and then hold Alt or Option on a Mac, and right mouse click and drag, and we can zoom in on these dominoes. Now, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is press the G key to toggle the game mode off so that I can actually see this little line that's underneath each one of them. And specifically, what I'm looking for is this right here. At the very end, there's a little tiny dot. I wanna grab that dot, and I'm gonna pull it over to the right. And when we do this, we're gonna see something really cool happen. So select that dot, Make sure that we're actually using our move gizmo. Make sure that it's actually using local space. And then I'm going to move my camera just a little bit so we can see this. I'm going to click and drag on this red arrow. And as I do, you'll notice that we get more dominoes. And it's going to end up right on the end of this. So that final domino should actually fall into the bucket. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press 5 on the keyboard to reset my camera. And it's up to you to go ahead and set the settings on our pulley here to get this to go ahead and work. And of course, you can review all that information from our previous video where we were playing with the pulley's attributes.